Hello and welcome to Luminex. In this video, we'll show how to set up advanced networking on a LumiCore. As you can see, the LumiCore has two network ports, one in the front and one in the back, just like our LumiNodes. We can use this to our advantage to set up some more advanced networking configurations when we are working with network lighting protocols. Log in to the web UI of the LumiCore and select Network at the left. By default, the network settings will be standard. In this mode, both ports will be in the same group and the LumiCore will have only one IP address. When you switch to Advanced, you will now have the option to add multiple IP addresses, add interfaces and to assign groups and trunks, similar to a GigaCore switch. I will now rename group 2 and 3 to House Lighting and Guest. These are the same groups or VLANs as you would configure on GigaCore switches. Now I will add two interfaces, one for the House Lighting network and one for the Guests network. Now I can add an IP address for our house lighting network and set it up to be able to be used as an input, output and as a configuration interface. We also add multiple IP addresses to our guest interface and we only allow it to be used as an input. So no output or configuration of the LumiCore is possible via this interface. Next, I will assign the ISL trunk to our Ethernet port 2, the one in the back, as this is the one connected to the ISL trunk on my network and can add multiple Ethernet ports on a switch with the same group, the management, house lighting and guest groups. The front Ethernet port is assigned to the untagged management group, so this is still available for local configuration or testing. Don't forget to save the settings. When we take a look at the process engines, we can now select an input group in addition to a universe or source IP when adding an input. Our output will also indicate on which group this output is available. When we configure a control channel for crossfading or switching between inputs, the same option will be available. That way we can be sure that our control channels will not be available to our guests. Of course, it is also possible to use the LumiCore on its own, without a GigaCore switch. This allows for easy integration into an existing infrastructure. We just assign our management group to an Ethernet port, in this case port 2, and our guest interface to Ethernet port 1. This will isolate our current network from any guest consoles we plug into port 1, but we still have all our possible process engine configurations available. We have now set up the management group for both management and data input and output on the rear network port and the guest group on the front network port with only the option to input data. In conclusion, the advanced networking features on a LumiCore offer a whole range of possibilities, both standalone or combined with GigaCore switches. Thanks for watching and we'll be back soon with more tutorials on Luminex products.